the end users being potential investors because they're the people that are investing in these things in terms of their uh, pension plans or something like that, stock trading. If they're getting money on a public exchange for investments into their publicly traded company, then we're typically thinking about the end user being the investors. Now note, we might be doing an audit for some other reason. The end user may be, say, the bank who required an audit so that they can trust the financial statements and see if they want to do business with a particular company. That might, well, that's another common scenario for smaller types of companies. That could be a more common type of scenario. Publicly traded companies required audit. We're usually thinking about investors. Smaller companies might have specific need for a full audit. And therefore, we're thinking that the end user might be something more likely a bank or something like that. All right, well, what does the audit do? Now, when you think about the audit coming into play, you're thinking about this having already happened. Management has done these things. The time period has passed or is close to passing when we start to think about what the audit engagement will be doing. In other words, when we start to plan the audit engagement, the financial statements, in essence, we think of as we could think of at this point being created at this point. And now the auditor, of course, is going to be looking into the accuracy of those financial statements. Have they been put together in accordance with a set of rules? That's what the audit is designed to do. Those set of rules we can imagine oftentimes being generally accepted accounting principles in a U.S. audit. So they're going to obtain evidence. We're going to obtain evidence and, and that's how we're going to determine this. And, and again, remember the end goal is are these financial statements represented correctly in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles? Our goal is not to say, are these financial statements, I mean, is this company doing well or not or something like that? We want to see if they're a going concern. Are they going to go out of business because, and that's because that's going to violate some of the assumptions that we typically make. But other than that, we're not making those type of value judgments. What we're trying to do is say, hey, this is what happened. Let's see what did happen. Are you reflecting what is happening in accordance with the set of rules that you're claiming to, given the assertions that you've told us that you've put them together in accordance with typically being generally accepted accounting principles. Then we're going to go in and judge that based on evidence. We'll put together tests to see whether or not these items have been indeed put together in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. Uh, test management's assertion